big night for both these clubs. Their season could depend on the outcome of this game because their league form is not particularly impressive. Since winning the FA Cup in 1991, Tottenham have lost four FA Cup semi-finals. They started 2004 with a three-game winning sequence. But now they have their sights set on the famous knockout cup competition in England, the FA Cup. It's Manchester City in their traditional sky blue playing from left to right in this first half. Brown. King. Might break here for Tottenham. Ledley King! And Ledley King scores in the opening two minutes. What a start for Tottenham. Well, it looked more like Robbie Keane the way he struck it than Ledley King, but a player who's been pressed forward into midfield duties scored a terrific goal here. Ledley King. Tottenham just uh, putting some passes together here. It's forward towards Robbie Keane. It's 2 0, and Tottenham head towards. Round five of the FA Cup. They're two up now inside 20 minutes, and Keane has scored again. Great ball in, but it was really clever by Robbie Keane to stay on side. That was the problem here for Keane as he got on the end of Stephen Carr's through ball, but once he'd done that, very, very tidy finish indeed. Robbie Keane now for Tottenham. Almost came through here to Brown, who's won it back, and Brown wins the free kick. And a yellow card for Joey Barton, who really has been uh, chipping away, not only at the referee, but also one of two key Tottenham players. I think it's going to be a Christian Seeger effort, player on the right of your picture. That's the man. Is it Seeger? And it's 3-0. And Tottenham have absolutely been outstanding in this first half. Christian Seeger, whose career was threatened by a leg injury and must have wondered at some stage whether he'd ever play again, now scores in the FA Cup for Tottenham. Corner kick to Spurs. What a first half it has been for the men from White Hart Lane. Joey Barton has had his, had his say to the uh, referee. He's been sent off, Joey Barton, for something he said to the referee just after the half-time whistle. So a red card here for Joey Barton for something he said to Rob Stiles. And Manchester City will play the remainder of this game with ten men after Barton was sent off for second yellow card for descent. It gets worse and worse for Manchester City. Sean Mike Phillips has won a free kick here for Manchester City with that. Another hefty challenge by Anthony Gardner. Tarnett's lining up a free kick here, so one German has scored with a free kick. Can another one score? This one's chipped in cleverly. It's a very good goal for Manchester City. Headed in by Diska. Another free kick by Tana. He disguised his intent here, chipped the ball in to Distan. And Dalma really went to sleep. And maybe Tottenham have just had a wake up call. Sieger has already scored. And the goalkeeper now has to decide whether he covers that left hand post as the keeper's looking at this free kick, or does Sieger then fire it into the goalkeeper's right? Seeger goes same side as he scored. Michael Brown is also looking at the angle here. Is it going to be Seeger or Brown? It's Seeger again. Poyet. Oh. Well, the goalkeeper had two saves to make. And well done, Arnie Harrison. It was a brilliant free kick, which I think hit the crossbar. And then Poyet tried to head it back into an unguarded net. That's a great save, he touched it onto the crossbar. Well done, goalkeeper. That is an outstanding piece of goalkeeping. Tarnett, 
Manchester City buzzing again here. Great ball in. Really clear there by Gardner. That took a deflection. It's got in. It's 3 2. Bosfeld has struck the ball. It took an almighty deflection. And City are right back in it. And it's ricocheted off Anthony Gardner. And it's now 3 2. Very much in the balance in the last 11 minutes. There's no doubt City will press forward here. It's Wright Phillips. Wright Phillips has made it 3 3. Fantastic. It's one of the greatest FA Cup comebacks in the history of the competition. Those City fans cannot believe what they've just witnessed. City, three down at half time, a man down at half time, their best striker off. And City's dreadful first half showing is all forgotten now. Sung Ji Hai. Sibieski. Sibieski looking for an opening here for City. Tarnat. Macken, he's won it! He's won the tie here for Manchester City. That has to go down as one of the great FA Cup ties in the history of the competition. The impossible has happened. Tarnat's cross. Headed in by John Macken. Macken, who should have won the first game at the City of Manchester Stadium. What a ball in here for Tarnat. And Macken's header crept inside the upright. Oh, this is just the stuff of dreams. Macken's header has found the target. And Kevin Keegan's side have come from oblivion to take their place in the fifth round of the FA Cup where they will play, you know who, another team from Manchester who happened to play in red. And there it is. A fantastic story. Macken with a header in stoppage time at the end of the 90th minute to win the game for Manchester City. Let's just try some up this incredible story. Arnie Arison with two outstanding saves. Spurs three up at half time. They lose an Elka to injury. They lose Joey Barton sent off. And then the second half revival begins. Dis down with a header. Gardner deflected in a shot from Boswell. Short right Phillips with 10 minutes to go. Make it 3 3. And then Macken scored a header after 92 minutes to send Manchester City into round five and a meeting with Manchester United. Dreams can come true, it can happen to you.